Mheshimiwa Naibu Rais awamu hii wananchi wameweza kuisubiri kwa hamu na gamu na hivi sasa kwa ruhusa yako niweze kumwalika bunge wa eneo hili Mheshimiwa Mohamed Ali Assalamu alaikum Amani ya Bwana iwe nanyi Wa mama hoyo Wa mama hoyo Basi leo nafurahi kujumuika na nyinyi Nianze kutoa shukrani zangu kwa naibu wa rais Rigadhi Gashagwa Wageni wote waliwandamana naye wakiwemo mawaziri, magavana, makatibu wa kudumu, wabunge wa bunge zote mbili yaani National Assembly na Senate MCAs waliweza kufika hapa siku ya leo. Niseme asanteni sana kwa kuweza kufika katika eneo bunge la Nyali, eneo bunge ambalo ni eneo bunge la mfano wa kufanya kazi na kutenda Vile vile ningelipenda kutambua uwepo wa CEO wa NGCDF bwana Mbuno kwa kuweza kutembea na kikosi chako na vile vile kuwatambua hawa watu wangwana wakaazi wa nyali kwa kusema asanteni sana kwa kuweza kushirikiana na sisi pamoja na wafanyikazi wote wa ofisi yangu ambaye wamehakikisha kwamba haya mambo yameenda sawa sawa Your Excellency wacha niseme Nyali ndio eneo bunge ambayo imebarikiwa. Hii ndio eneo bunge ambaye shule zinafunguliwa na manaibu wa rais. Shule ya kwanza ilifunguliwa na rais alipokuwa naibu wa rais pale kwa Bulo. Baada ya kufungua akakuwa rais. Sasa hii inafunguliwa na naibu wa rais na baada ya kufungua <laughs> <laughs> kwa hivyo niseme nyali ina baraka kwa sababu viongozi ambao tunatembea nao kuanzia rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya naibu wa rais ni watu ambao wameweza kuweka nguvu ya kuhakikisha elimu ya watoto imeweza kupatikana naibu wa rais Rigadi Gashagwa ningelipenda kukupatia historia fupi ya hii shule hapa miaka ya nyuma tulipata matatizo makubwa Nilikuwa nimeweza kutenga pesa ya kujenga hii shule. Lakini kwa sababu ya serikali ya kiimla iliyokuwa wakati huo waliweza kutuzuia kufanya mambo mengi kama kujenga shule na kiwanja hichi cha mpira cha fria. Na tulipokuwa pale ndani Your Excellency nimekuambia kwamba hii kiwanja ni mali ya watoto wa fria. Hii si kiwanja sio mali ya kaunti hii ni mali ya serikali kwa sababu education haijakuwa devolved ya kwamba kaunti waichukue ni ya national government na vile naibu wa rais tumeongea mimi najua ukiguruma hii kiwanja inarudi kwa watoto wetu sina namna hiyo wazazi niseme nisiseme nitoboe nisitoboe ya pili naibu wa rais kama vile ambavyo tumezungumza pale ndani ni kuhusiana na hawa vijana wetu watoto wetu walioweza kuharibiwa na mihadarati kutokana na uongozi mbovu tuliokuwa nao kukipindi cha nyuma lakini sasa tutanyorosha na kuhakikisha watoto wanasoma ili wasiwe kama wale wengine tunaomba hawa vijana wanaosaidiwa hapa hii kliniki iweze kuondolewa mara moja karibu na watoto wetu wamama huyu wamama huyu kwa sababu wa mama wamechoka, wa mama wanalia, watoto wakisoma hapa kwa darasa, bangi inavutwa hapa, kokei inadungwa hapa, sindano zinatupwa hapa. Wa mama wanapigwa mapanga. Leo nimekuja na dawa yao. Your Excellency, tumeweza kujenga shule zaidi ya saba katika kipindi kilichopita cha 2017-2022. Mwaka huu ya 2022 mpaka 2027 inshallah panapo majaliwa yake Mwenyezi Mungu 
tutajenga shule zingine zaidi na your excellency lina kilio you remember there is a school i told you about it ziwani uh, ziwa la ngombe secondary school when we took power i told you about the same school that is directly opposite the other side of the road your excellency this school imechukuliwa na watu wachache lakini baada ya kufanya public participation na wazazi wakatupatia rusa your excellency it's only two parents who have refused to vacate that area and the rest have agreed to do that the court has ruled on our favor sisi tunashindwa ni kwa nini maafisa wa usalama wanashindwa kutuondolea watu wawili and i have your excellency 21 million ready to build another school there your excellency you are aware about this case i spoke to you baada ya swearing in and i told you we have a problem i'm still holding the 21 million in the account i am ready to build the school but only two people with the court order that they have been told to vacate and leave the premises just two people your excellency we cannot build the school for thousands of children in ziwalangombe because of two people it's either we are doing something wrong we cannot tell our officers to go and remove those people ama kuna shida iko mahali your excellency today please give out an order and make sure tomorrow mimi nianze kumwaga simiti na mchanga nijenge shule ya ziwalangombe secondary school Leo your excellency Nyali ndio imekuwa benchmarking area Every time wale jamaa zetu wa upinzani ambao nimewaambia wakuje tufanye kazi ya wasikii Mimi nataka kumwambia gavana wa Mombasa awache kujificha nyuma nyuma afanye kazi na majukumu waliopewa na awache kuchukua viongozi anawapeleka kwa zile shule na jikoni mimi nimejenga akijifanya ni mradi wake na ni mradi wa mbunge wa Nyali Simuliona juzi alichukua Raila Odinga akampeleka ile jikoni nilijenga ya food tap to eat akamdanganya yeye ndio amejenga please governor toa pesa hiyo yako usaidie hawa watu wa Mombasa waacha kuvuta shisha na kukula samosa hii Mombasa We will tell you the truth Your excellency now that uh, my good friend the CS for education is around let me also tell you that we have another 14 acre of land hapa Nyali primary school Your excellency hiyo 14 acre mimi nimesema sina shida ya pesa. Pesa ya kujenga shule niko nayo. The 14 acre I want to build Nyali Secondary School. Lakini imechukuliwa na matajiri. Among the people who have taken that land your excellency is a sitting governor, a businessman. Your excellency turudishiwe shamba, title in ya shule, munipe nafasi niweze kujenga hiyo shule. Na unasema niseme yote? Nitoboe. Niseme nisiseme. Nitoboe nisitoboe. Your Excellency pia. Ninaona CEO wa NGCDF hapo hapa. Bwana Mbuno. Mimi nimefanya kazi umeona. Lakini ofisi yako haitaki kunipatia CSR. Mimi sasa nataka kusimamisha shule nyingine pale. Have been applying for CSR. Wewe unipatia 10 million. Hapa Your Excellency amekuja. Mimi najua hapa iko hesabu leo. Alafu na mimi niweke 10 million tujenge nchi. Si namna hiyo? Ya mwisho labda kabla niwakaribishe hawa viongozi wangu wa hapa Nyali ni bado masuala ya shamba. Kuna shamba eka mbili nimeweza kuikomboa pale Kazandani na MCA wa Kazandani yako hapa. Kuna shamba eka mbili pale Muembeni. Tumeikomboa iko katika mikono ni mwetu. Your Excellency the only thing we need is action. The officers the boots must be on the ground for us to be able to build because the contractor is being harassed each and every time. Kwa hivyo hizi ni vitu ambazo tunataka mtilie mkazo ili tuweze kuhakikisha hawa watoto wetu wameweza kupata elimu tosha na kukuja kusaidia kuendesha gurudumu ya taifa hili. Last your excellency ningelipenda sana niweze kukuomba kwa heshima yako. Madam Lucy She is the principal headmistress of this school. Huyu mama tumetukanwa na yeye. Tumedhalilishwa na yeye tukitaka kujenga hii kiwanja. 
tumedhalilishwa na yeye tukitaka kujenga hii shule ametukanwa ameitwa majina mabaya mabaya your excellency nimejenga shule iko sawa lakini huyu mama anaenda retire nataka aonje matunda hii aongezee mwaka mwingine moja mbili ama tatu kwa sababu huyu huyu mwalimu tumetukanwa na yeye tumepigwa na yeye tumedharauliwa na yeye na sasa nimemaliza kujenga shule siajienjoy kidogo akae kidogo avune matunda ya ile shida tumepitia Hivyo waziri machoko mimi naona uko hapa rais uko hapa mimi najua maneno ni chafu chafu mdosi akiwa hapa si namna hiyo haya 